Hi guys and welcome back and today we get on with building the first Haledonian Armoured Corps and the models that I'm using here are the Trumpeter 172nd scale Pershing tanks not bad little tanks actually and have a look at this as we get further into the video now the timeline for the Haledonian army is around 1939-1940 as uh, unrest begins to grow in Europe and the Haledonian people who have largely remained hidden from the world for centuries realize that they uh, needed to tech up and uh, be able to defend themselves so Haledonia for a variety of reasons which will build up on the story as we go along is um, more technologically advanced and has a access to a bio-organic mineral called Valenium which gives them some advantages in construction and technology so the reason I picked the Pershings is that uh, Haledonia is about 25 to 35 years ahead of the curve as far as technology is concerned and I am being a bit loose and fast with what vehicles I can use and I'm mixing and matching quite a lot of different technologies but uh, it's all designed to just show that uh, it's a little bit further advanced than what they'll be coming up against in some of the uh, future dios that will appear. And so this tank in Haledonia is the HHTD-1, the Haledonian heavy tank, Defender version 1. So the kits are all very similar, there's three different variants that I'm working with here but by and large basically the same. Really crisply moulded, not much in the way of flash. Uh, some really good detail for a 170 second scale kit which I was quite impressed with but some really bad sink marks on the tracks which really doesn't bother me because with the scale and with some weathering uh, so I didn't even go to the extent of filling them or doing anything with them really some good details around the wheels little rivets nuts and the smaller return rollers at the top very fiddly when you're used to building 135th scale quite a challenge to have everything really tiny and again I, I my, my aim was to build to war game table quality so I wasn't looking to produce diorama pieces and do a lot of extra work or customizing. Just wanted to get them looking good uh, and do a nice job, but by and large, Wargame Standard was where I was aiming for it. And I think I achieved that in the, in the finish. and some pretty basic decals which of course I won't be using because I'll be printing out my own Haledonian decals. So on with the build, I've already shown you the first one which was sort of the prototype and I marked up the uh, instruction page which is pretty simple, I think it's only about eight steps just as a reminder to myself so I was consistent what uh, little bits of customization I wanted to do and what parts I wasn't going to put on at all. So for the final reveal, some of what I'm doing here will become evident and that required just drilling a few extra holes along the way. And as you can see, just moved on through the various building steps on the instruction sheet. Just crossing out the ones that I didn't want to use and uh, highlighting the ones that I did want to use just to ensure consistency throughout the build of the four tanks.
again just confirming using some of the parts for the back and uh, not using some other ones here because I'm replacing that with the ACP and using B40 which is a part that goes on the back of the tank to go on the front of the tank as a driver's uh, vision block. The turret was all pretty straightforward, no real changes to that. And then just an overall uh, map of where I needed to drill extra holes for the ACP. So that'll become evident as we get further on. ACP is one of the advanced technologies that Haladonia has, which gives it a real edge on the battlefield. On with the build now, I'll uh, leave you with some music and pop back in occasionally if I think I need to explain something. Whilst on the surface this should be easy because it's got the little location pins, in practical terms it didn't prove to be that simple and took a little bit of work to get everything actually level. Honestly, it was a really, really easy build. I mean, there's not much to it, so it should not be an easy build. But the one thing I had trouble with on all four of them was getting the wheels level and in the right spacing so the location pins didn't have the desired effect and there was a lot of messing around. So they all look a little bit different, which isn't terrible, but uh, it was just frustrating. And it was really only by the time I built the fourth tank that uh, I'd figured out a reliable way of getting it right. Uh, so this was one of my earlier extreme efforts to try and get things level. Here I'm just preparing the ACP location sites. And here with the Dremel, I'm actually making the external component with just a piece of uh, old sprue and using the heat of the Dremel to produce the part that will go on the outside of the tank, which represents the functional part, if you like, of the ACP. I'm not at liberty to explain the blue box in the hull of the tank. That is a Haladonian War Office secret.
so all in all, a nice little tank to build, and having built four of them, um, really don't want to build another one. 170 second scale, it, uh, it is fiddly, but uh, very quick to do as well. So by the time I'd figured out my process, I think the last tank took me three hours to build from go to woe. So if you want a quick evening task or a, a quick weekend task, 170 second scale tank wouldn't be a bad idea. I built them very simply. I didn't go into any extra detail, as I said, just looking for war game standards. So pretty happy with the way they turned out. And that's pretty much it. So we'll just do a few whiz rounds on the turntable, a few different angles and distances so you can have a good look at them. And then I'll come back and say goodbye. And that's it. So thanks for watching. Like if you liked. Subscribe if you're virile. And as always, really look forward to your comments. And I will reply to each and every one of them. Up next will be the painting of the three tanks and the, doing the decals, the Haladonian decals. And also building a display base. So it won't be like a diorama quality base. But I want a display base so that uh, as various units get built, I've got somewhere nice to film them on. So take care, everyone, and I'll catch you in the next one.